All eyes on one man on the back of a hat trick. Will he continue to excel? The action is live on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Dan Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's the Dons and they face Brentford. Thanks Derek. Well often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing. But so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stuart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, he's a player that thrives on goals. He scored a hat-trick last time out, and I'm sure we're going to see him play with great confidence today. He really looks to be a threat whenever he gets the ball. I think we're going to see another outstanding performance from him. And here's how it looks for Dons. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And the contest begins. And they stop them in their tracks. Tony. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. It's a long time to go in this game. about that free kick I'm afraid and space for the cross teammates in support it's there for him and there we go it is the ideal opening Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is.
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Effective challenge. And sloppy in possession. looking pass might be able to set up the chance the end product just wasn't there it's a corner and over from Ericsson not the result from the set piece they were looking for now can they counter clinically able to skip past his man and a goal to delight the fans just what they were hoping for Here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, a second goal for them here. On Yeka. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. And you need your defender to take charge. Christopher Ayer. Ericsson. He takes aim. Making sure it didn't get past him. Body in the way again. Crucial intervention just then amid him. danger. Opportunity it is. Can he find the net? Strong hand on that one. And pressing really high. Ericsson. Ivan Tony. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Ericsson. Well, it was a superb counter attack. Not such high marks for the finish. Well, the build up to the shot was great. Good defending, quick transition. An excellent movement. It just needed a much better finish. Now to take it away. Moving forward effectively. Will it happen for them? And the referee says corner kick. But he's gone short with it. Can he finish? A oh, tremendous block. And behind it goes the contention of a corner. Who can he pick out? And clearing it away.
Eriksen. Frank Onyeka. Won it back. A creative look about this. Interception to snuff out the danger. Pritchard. And he's broken free. Oh, masterful defending to prevent what looked like a certain goal. Mbemo. What can they do to stop him running at them? And he favours the inside routes. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right but he almost pulled it up there. He made such good contact with the ball. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. A really... Takes it on! And the keeper getting across to stop it. A short corner here. Will he find the net? And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Ericsson. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Well, he likes to run at them. opportunity he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge breaking at pace oh breezing past him cross could be useful but it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper Milan possession lost Jensen Tony and across the touchline so a throw in here well the electronic board showing three additional minutes Milan, super tackled and they've won possession. Ericsson. Oh, and that challenge carried with it quite the element of risk. Now, what's the referee going to do next? And he's been dismissed. This will be a real test of their defensive resilience. Well, he had to go, didn't he? They'll need to reshape their defence quickly here.
Well, sadly, you've got to say it all went horribly wrong for him. Well, he backed his technique. Unfortunately, on this occasion, he's down bad. That's a poor effort. And there it is, the half-time whistle. There's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he scored good goals, but his all-round play has been excellent. He looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Could play it in. Alert defending. Corner awarded. Playing it in. Over the touchline for a throw in. Cross here from Christian Eriksen. And a struggle to get it away from... Can he finish this? And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. This is looking threatening. That's an effective cross. End of the back post. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. He might be through here. Well, not the pass he had in mind. There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two, and he seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move, and he can continue to develop his career. Wonderful block. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Mag Well, here's the replay. It just highlights his skill level here. He does so well to keep it down. That's a really good half volley. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Carabao Cup excitement to look forward to live here on EA TV. It's Brentford taking on Brighton. Well, that's a game to look forward to. Plenty to play for in that one. It should be a really entertaining game. Oh, breezing past him. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace, and power.
Well, it's an out and out pasting, 6 0. Jensen, Bermo, Tony. Well, visionary passing. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. And so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Brentford goal, number 21. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. They couldn't maintain possession. Let's see if something comes of this. Oh, good. He's in here. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man. And it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Goal for Brentford, number 17, Ivan Tony. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Milan. Not a successful intervention, winning the ball back. Mbermo. Tony. Won it back. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Fine ball from Ericsson. Oh, surely! And the opportunity goes a begging. He doesn't to hit back with power rather than go placement. And a substitution in the offing. Pritchard. Milan. Will it happen for them? It should be. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Well, it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they can add. And into the last 20 minutes. Ivan Tony. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Strong but fair tackle. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, that was a top save. I can't believe that didn't go in. See your players waiting in the middle. In position. An important challenge. Must remain organised. Well, fantastic reflex action. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. So, almost at full time, and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Full credit, wonderful stop. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Corner kick played in. 
And I think the threat has been averted. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Milan. Pritchard. And snuffing out the danger. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They need to get bodies back. Play towards the back post. It was an excellent example of how to break at pace. Well, that's counter-attacking football at its best. They switch on so quickly when they win the ball back. It deserved a goal. This is looking threatening. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Pull crab. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Ericsson. Great block. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Time for a change then. And over from Ericsson. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Well, that's how to beat your opponents. Perfect challenge. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. An authoritative challenge. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Until they have the guile to open up the defence. And the goal kick is the outcome. Now they're going to win things. Here's the substitution. Dons couldn't hang on to it. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. And that was a very fine read. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a a short performance wasn't it particularly impressed with their play going forward really lively and almost cutting through at will at times the result never much in doubt if I'm honest